economics is the lifeblood of humanity. It is most properly called currency, because like an electrical current, money is power. It commands respect and its chief companion is influence, to the point where some will do anything to get it. Wall Street is the cornerstone of American economic commerce. So really, if you talk about uh, slaves as commodities and, and the trading of slaves and uh, the ability to make money from financial assets, I mean, you know, Wall Street is, uh, is a part of that, that tradition. This is one of the most important historical areas in the Western Hemisphere in relationship to the slave trade system and those that were involved in it. I always emphasize the slave trade system because it was much more than just uh, trading uh, goods and, and humans. This system had three major components, like all systems. Economics was the first principle of the system. But in order for the system to be managed, you had to have a political component. So economics and politics were the foundation of what was happening here in Lower Manhattan. But the key to the economics and the politics is culture. At first glance, what do you see when you look up at the One World Trade Center? The first thing you notice is a Tekken from ancient Kenya, a symbol of rebirth, renewal, resurrection, to bring new again that which had fallen. The current of economics can be likened to the current of a river. It must flow. And as it flows through the society, it sparks creativity and innovations, drives industry, and defines the aspirations of a people. Like an electrical current, money travels through the path of least resistance along familiar grooves worn by centuries of trade, by desire, and by conspiracy. Happy is the earliest known name for the principle that ancient Egyptians described as the Nile River. This film will begin by exploring the role of the Nile River and its importance in the development of the economic foundation of civilization.